and I went down there every morning, down there again, another little processing video. I started using Cyril a few months ago, and I've, I've really been liking it. It's a great program if you haven't tried it out. I highly recommend it. About once every five times I would go to stack, I would get a, um, the script would not complete. It would fail to stack. So I would end up having to take all my frames and put them into Deep Sky Stacker and stack them there and then come back into Cyril and do the processing uh, on the uh, stack TIFF that I stacked in Deep Sky Stacker. And I was wondering why it kept failing to stack. So I started digging through Cloudy Nights and I found out that um, somebody had an answer. Uh, and that's usually my go-to spot is Cloudy Nights. So today I'm just going to go through, if you're having trouble um, stacking images, uh, I'm going to go over some settings that you can adjust and hopefully it'll solve your problem like it solved mine. I'm not going to go over every little uh, detail and every, every little button that Cyril does. and uh, I'm going to do a, a Cyril tutorial later on, uh, you know, at least what I use it for. But so, you know, if you're new to Cyril and you're not familiar with everything, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to fly through this as fast as I can to keep this video short. With that said, let's get to it. Okay, um, first thing I'm going to do is open up my folders and I'm going to go to my Cyril folder and you're going to have your lights, flats, darks, and vices in, in separate folders uh, in a folder named Cyril. That's, that's how I do it. So I've got that, and I'm gonna open up Cyril. And I actually just updated it um, a couple hours ago. It's now version 1.2.0. It just came out uh, last night, September the 15th, 2023. So that is the latest version that just released. I'm gonna run through this just to show you what it's doing. And I'll fast forward through um, the stacking process, but so all I'm, I've got my home directory set to that folder zero. I'm going to come over here to scripts, and I'm going to run one shot color preprocessing OSC dash or underscore preprocessing, and let's click it, and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, Cyril just got through running it. And I'm going to point out all this, all these red lines right here uh, cannot perform star matching image 65 skip. I think I have 65 or 66 frames and it says at the bottom script execution failed. It won't stack. So, and it started way up here. It just, I think it registers one image and then the rest get skipped. And, and and during the making of this video, I've discovered why it's doing that, and it's technically my fault. It's not Cyril's fault. But um, I'm going to show you this. Any, anyways, if you're having the same issue and it's not wanting to stack, what you can do. So um, I'm going to go back to that folder, and I'm going to... It should have uh, created, yeah, it created a process folder and a master's folder. I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to delete, um, I'm just going to, like I'm start from scratch with just those four folders. Delete these two. Now I'm going to, um, so what you'll do is you'll come over here to open. You'll go to your lights. It should be you know, under your serial folder here. You'll have your your four folders. I'm going to go to lights and double click that. I'm not going to click the very first one. I'm just going to come down about halfway through. And I'm going to click one and I'm going to open it. Okay. And now what that's going to do is it's going to open up. <clears throat> if you go over here to this hamburger menu, the three bars right here, and click on that and click on image information. If you don't have an image open right here, all this will be grayed out. So, um, now before I do that, I, I did this both ways, and I'm not sure if it makes a difference. It, it probably won't pick up as many stars, but I'm gonna change this from linear 
to auto stretch and then there's a single sub and what I've learned is apparently I have some tilt going on with my camera um, the stars in the corner are uh, kind of long like this corner is okay and this one's okay it, it's in the right two corners and I just found a new tool in Cyril that I didn't know anything about so I'm going to open those three bars I'm going to go to image information and I'm going to come all the way down to dynamic PSF now <clears throat> I, I learned this in cloudy nights I'm going to give this guy a shout out um, his name is rack 19 I did this before I updated to this latest version and all I did was he just said to tick this box right here relax PSF checks I ticked that box and then I ran the script again and it stacked it worked now I just updated to the latest version and I did this again I ticked this box and I went to stack again it didn't work it skipped all these images just like that so what I ended up doing is I started messing some mosquito I started messing with the, uh, the threshold here I don't know if these tools were all always here but this right here is a an, an, um, <clears throat> a sensor tilt tool now I click on that and it <laughs> this is way worse than the last one I mean that is terrible uh, you know that's that's not good at all now I'm gonna just refresh no that didn't do it either how do you get rid of that mosquitoes okay that's a little better uh, still not great but it's better than that first one I just refresh I refreshed it and clicked it again and that's a little better you can tell there is some tilt going on um, but what I ended up having to do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and check this relax PSF and I had to adjust the threshold I think I went all the way up to 8 which is crazy high and then on the roundest threshold I ran this this threshold up all the way to 8 and the roundness threshold I had to bump down to 0 0.30 and that, that what that's going to do is, is it, if your stars aren't perfectly round it's going to get to give you a little bit of forgiveness and there's a star detection tool right here and I'm going to click that and it's going to tell me my total number of stars right here 66 now rack 19 on cloudy night says you want you know below 100 stars and so that's that's we're good on that I didn't have to do any of this before the update but this is what I just had to do uh, before I recorded this to get this to stack right so uh, and maybe just the thresh the roundness threshold would work I'm not sure but I raised the threshold up to 8 and I um, lowered the roundness threshold I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna run this this one shot color pre-processing once again and I'll be back when it's done to see if it works okay uh, uh, it just finished stacking the script it was successful it took way longer to stack than it normally does but uh, it did work it took four minutes right there and I'm just gonna go to um, open and yeah that's right 19,500 seconds so uh, that's the fix if you're you know if you're having issues uh, with the stacking sequence not working or the stacking script not working you'll just come into your light folder uh, pick one of your lights and come over here to image information and then all the way down to dynamic PSF and but definitely tick this box right here uh, relax the checks and I knew I probably had some tilt going on and uh, 
that's not as bad, but yeah, you can definitely tell. And, and you can tell in the image. There's also a tool. Let me close it. I'm gonna close this out. And let's see if I can pop this tool up. It's a um it's under image information and it's aberration inspector. And so that'll actually show you your corners as well. And you can see I've got some uh, elongated stars in that corner and then there's some going that way in that corner. Uh, that's kind of going out as well. But over here seems better. It's not perfect, but it's it's better. So just something else I'll have to work on. But uh, I'm going to open this image up and see what the final stack looks like. Just to make sure it's nothing crazy. And it's already auto-stretched. So that's linear. Uh, the stars look, you know, okay and auto stretch and they look you know it's not bad now I notice uh, the frame right here and that could have been from from the meridian flip but I would just crop that out right there and uh, but it, as far as you know there's a couple up here that look bad but it's not terrible but it just wouldn't stack and I'm, I'm guessing it's because of these stars being elongated so thanks to thanks to rack 19 on cloudy nights um, I just finally figured this out so now I won't have to stack in deep sky stacker unless I want to stack in deep sky stacker but I still use both but I've been trying to do a lot of stuff in Cyril because I really like this program so uh, I learn something new every day all right that's it See you next time. Take it easy.